Are we back? We're in my apartment. Yeah! <laughs> back to the apartment with me, me, and, me, and, me and Triple D on the couch. It's <laughs> <laughs> HR, oh, by the way. Sounds Title. normal. Title. Sounds Title. normal. Me and Triple D. Me and Triple D on the couch. Title. You know. So, average Thursday. <laughs> how, how did you enjoy your last night in, oh in Los Angeles? <laughs> playing a troubadour in front of a lovely crowd, isn't it? Is it an English accent or was uh, it? Manchester. I just don't know. Like, that, that's just the way I speak. I mean, English, British, I whatever. I did notice that, that G made his first, like, screw Americans comment. And it was very ad hoc. No one knew he was watching or anyone was watching. He didn't know I was watching. And it was because someone had shared some very deep personal data right off the bat. And he was like, Americans, you just tell everyone everything. <laughs> <laughs> True. But LA was good. LA mm -hmm. was really good. Yeah. yeah. Did fun. you like it? Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't feel well for most of the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kenan was sick, and now everyone else is sick. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Kenan. Yeah, I'm not sick. <laughs> not yet. Keep the droplets to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I stayed in my bunk almost the whole day. Yeah, day. you've been like hugging me the you whole time. You were so sad. <laughs> oh. You were sad in your bunk. My head was mm. killing. Oh, God. Like nobody's business. <laughs> but uh, Troubadour was really, really good. Really good. Every time I walk in there, I get just the, I don't know, this is going to sound weird, but I get the tingles whenever I walk in there. Wow. It's just so, there's such good, like, raw talent that it's a walk through there that it's always just a special, mm. isn't it weird that it's a special place to be when other people who were after excellence at all costs just walked through there and it sets the tone mm. for like what the venue was anywho did y'all get the tingles no it's it's always an <laughs> honor to be on the same stage as beck holland <laughs> keenan and larry long genius for me if you had to, every uh, single uh, night it feels us, the same rank us kiss mary kill come on come on you've got enough data you're on the 12th city don't go neutral don't go swiss so i'm going to change my accent uh, to the french accent and as all french people i will marry the three of you because uh, we can do that in my country uh, you can do that that was good i think it's funny that he has a french accent that's not actually how he talks which is a french accent <laughs> <laughs> Somehow there's, so he thinks he has a French accent. When he talks, he doesn't have a French accent, which is fabulous. So funny. So funny. So funny. Um, I, I did notice there's a, a really good question in the crowd. One of them was, um, uh, like, essentially, why is problem-centric selling or what, like, and it's the second time we've been asked this, which is really encouraging to me of, like, with all the podcasts and articles and sales training and da, 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 available, why is the industry in such a bad state? Yeah, I think that was interesting. It's great question. Mm. <laughs> no, it was interesting. It was interesting to see like uh, the perspective of the person saying like there is a lot of content around it about it, while actually your feeling is that there's not enough content. Yeah. And I love Kenan's point of view to say we're fighting against like people's laziness because in the end it's uh you know to apply this methodology of caring about the the buyer yeah. spending time asking the right question being an active listener mm -hmm. it's something that requires training a lot yeah. of like uh, work and most people don't want to put the work yeah and i i d did notice that nick from 30 minutes of president's club was also there which is really cool to me when other industry like leaders, thought leaders are coming out to join because it mm. means that they want to be a part of the conversation, that they like recognize like, oh, this is something that might progress it forward. Game recognizing and game. Totally, which uh -oh. is so Whoa. cool. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> what if you just evaporated out of the video? <laughs> he's he's been hiding that. He's been hiding that for the last three now. weeks. Game recognized game. I, I didn't like, know you had that inside. I, I think y'all switch. I think y'all switch bodies all of a sudden. Keenan, how did he come up with that quick? I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm shocked. Damn, I'm, I'm Gina. speechless. 
Are you talking about practice, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> but but speaking of LA, Keenan, we, we had that conversation and you referenced Carol Dweck um, in terms of growth mindset. Mm -hmm. So when you see folks that are leaders and they're looking to grow from other mm -hmm. leaders and they're looking to so cool. get involved in the conversation, it's absolutely amazing. Now LA, I don't know if it's because it's the second to last stop, but their energy, they came out yeah. right off the, the bat, just totally. blazing energy. I don't know if it was the atmosphere. I mean, the Troubadour, I wasn't familiar with it before this year, but you go in there and you can just, there's something feel in the it. air. Feel it, you can yeah. feel it. So it was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. And glad to see Keenan rally coming through in overtime. I know. <laughs> oh, good. Keenan he he to the rescue. He came in and he like he spent, I could tell, I'm like, mm. he's got 10 bullets left and he just spent 10 of them on stage. <laughs> I, I was just curious about like uh, Keenan's choice of restaurant last night. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we did. We went to a very interesting spot. Be careful. Called, Be real called, careful, everybody called, here. Uh, called Beaches, I think was the name of it. <laughs> Lovely, darling spot that Keenan picked out for us. Yeah. And there were some interesting Keenan. dancers on the tables oh. um, and interesting apparel when mm. we walked in. Mm -mm. I personally went to a pizza place across the street yeah, same. and pursued virtue. Uh, but Keenan. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I was. Didn't even want to go to dinner. I fucking played like shit. These knuckleheads had me walking all around fucking town with a practical joke. <laughs> They're lucky I didn't say, fuck it, go home. <laughs> Um, That's how much love I have for you, Beck. Was you last night? I was committed to that, in spite, know, in spite of your I silly know. little games. I, I, that wasn't me. Paul <laughs> picked it out. So yeah. I do admit that I do play some games from time to time to keep things, you know, fresh. fresh. <laughs> <laughs> but that was not one of them. So that is everything. That is Ubad for LA.